Host News Channel 7, this is the News at 4. Thank you for joining us here on the News at 4. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. And I'm Doug Petcash. Earlier today, Idaho Governor Brad Little announced he is calling the Idaho legislature back for a special legislative session. Under Idaho law, the governor can call lawmakers back to Boise to consider a narrow scope of legislation, and that scope is decided by the governor. Lawmakers will consider one piece of legislation that aims to accomplish three major things. And it's all made possible by a record $2 billion state budget surplus. KTV chief political reporter Joe Paris joins us now, and he was at that special news conference held earlier today. Joe, what did Governor Little propose, and how are lawmakers reacting? Sierra lawmakers will meet on September 1st at 8 o'clock in the morning to kick off that special legislative session and three main things here for lawmakers to consider within one piece of legislation. Two are tax cut related. The other is education funding and first on the tax cuts lawmakers will consider returning tax dollars to Idahoans as the state sits on a projected surplus of $2 billion. So the proposal is to have $500 million in immediate one time income tax rebates. Idahoans would get back 10% of their 2020 income taxes with minimum rebates of $300 for individuals and $600 for joint filers. The second tax cut measure does a few things. The proposal would eliminate the first $2,500 of income from taxation for individuals, $5,000 for joint filers. So that lowers your tax liability. Now the proposed legislation also recreates the income tax bracket, consolidating it to a simple flat tax of 5.8% across the board. Right now, the top bracket in Idaho pays 6%. On the education front, the proposed legislation would invest $410 million into Idaho education through an ongoing sales tax transfer program. The governor's office is touting this as the single largest investment in education in Idaho state history. Now, the proposal sends about $330 million to Idaho K-12 public schools to help with rising costs due to inflation. Additionally, $80 million would also go towards training for in-demand careers developing Idaho's workforce for years to come. That's the hope from the governor's office. And there are a lot of questions about how this will all work out and how the legislature will respond in January if this proposal does pass in September. A major question right now, what if the legislature decides to offset the new investments by cutting education budgets in other places? Here's Governor Little's response to that question. Short of putting it in the Constitution, which in fact a system of free throw public schools is in the Constitution, anything the legislature does, but by making it a, a literally an earmark out of a, a sales tax that goes in, I think the level of surety of it is much higher. But as you well know, everybody knows uh, what the legislature does or the people, either one, they can undo. I spoke with Republican leaders, namely House Speaker Scott Betke and Senate Pro Tem Chuck Winder today about this proposal, and they tell me it's a great bill that they're excited to take up in September. Republicans also point to this being a bipartisan effort, Republicans and Democrats working on this together. Republican lawmakers and leadership expect this to pass. I asked Minority Caucus Chair Democrat Senator Janie Ward Engelking for her thoughts on this proposal. I think we've got support. There'll be some discussion, and it's, uh, you know, we just got to see the final bill yesterday. So some people are still scrambling to get a copy of it and to look at it very carefully. We know that there's a few areas that we would have changed if we'd had um, the opportunity, but we're thrilled with the uh, education increase in funding, and we, we like it being in a bucket. I feel good about that. I feel good about the working families getting a rebate. I, you know, and I guess we'll take the other as we move forward. And I, if we get in trouble with having reduced the revenue too much, we'll have to address it. So we'll see how this all plays out in the very near future. Again, lawmakers will report to the Capitol for the special legislative session Thursday, September 1st, 8 o'clock in the morning. Early guesses from lawmakers I've spoke with suggest this will be a one or two day special session, but we will see. And coming up in our next half hour here on the News at 4, we're going to hear from Abby Davis. She has reaction to the education aspect of this from lawmakers and stakeholders. Doug Shearer, though, a lot to follow. And of course, September 1st, coming up quickly, a little more than a week away. A quick question, Joe, too. If this does go through, and September 1st or 2nd, will those rebates go out right away or is this, uh, you know, wait till after the new year or the next uh, 
fiscal year? So Governor Little actually said, you know, they want to get Idahoans their money back in their pockets right now while inflation really is a problem for some families. So if this does pass, they would hope to get those checks printed and sent out as early as September. The governor was asked earlier today, you know, would we have this money for the holiday season? He said, oh, the goal is to have it well before that. Again, if this wow. passes. All right, Joe, we'll see yeah. what you got on the 208 as well. Thanks for breaking that down for us.